In order to draw the bigger objects on paper, we produce a smaller version of the objects like floor plans on paper reducing each element of the object by same proportion, which is called a reduction or scale diagram of the object. For example, take a look on this butterfly. Its height is 6 cm. Let's take its height as 6 cm. In order to draw the diagram of this butterfly on piece of paper, we have produced a reduction of this butterfly here and the size of this butterfly in height is 2 cm. So here the original diagram, the original height, original height of butterfly of butterfly is equal to 6 cm and scared diagram diagram has height equal to 2 cm then the ratio of the scale diagram to original is called scale factor then ratio of the scale diagram of the scale diagram to original is called is called scale factor scale factor so let's find out what would be the scale factor for this scale factor for butterfly is equal to is equal to height of height of scaled diagram divided by height of height of original butterfly so what was the height of the scale diagram that's 2 cm so this would be equal to 2 cm and height of the original is 6 cm so this is equal to 1 over 3 now the scale factor 1 over 3 it tells us that this is a reduction because its value is less than 1. Whenever scale factor is less than 1, it will be a reduction. For reductions, the scale diagram is always less than 1. And if the scale factor is greater than 1, then it's called enlargement. And it's only height which has this ratio but if the ratio of the uh, of the scale diagram to the height of the original is 1 over 3 then so will be the width like all other elements of the diagram will be reduced by the same ratio so for example if we had if we had the width let's say that we produce this width equal to 4 cm. If this was 4 cm, then what would be the width of the scale diagram? We don't know. Let's call it x. So, x if width of original original is equal to 4 cm and width of scaled diagram is equal to x then we can find the width of the scale diagram because since 
scale factor is equal to 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over 3 and we know that scale factor is equal to width of scale diagram divided by width of original and if scale factor is equal to 1 over 3 then what would be the width of scale diagram that is x divided by width of the original is 4 therefore we can find out value of x equal to 4 time 1 over 3 which is equal to 4 by 3 centimeter similarly we have another diagram and we'll try to find out the scale factor if this width is 6 centimeter this is 6 centimeter this is 6 centimeter this is 4 centimeter this is 4 centimeter and this is 4 centimeter let's say that this is 2 centimeter this is 2 centimeter then what would be the corresponding lengths for the smaller version if we are given the scale factor so let's write down the question given lengths given lengths for the diagram diagram r 6 cm, 6 cm, 4 cm and 2 cm as shown. If scale factor is equal to 0.25, if scale factor is equal to 0 0.25, then find find the corresponding lengths corresponding lengths lengths of the reduction if we are to find out the corresponding lengths of the direct, uh, reduction then what is given here so this quantity the width which was 6 centimeter will become will be multiplied with 0 0.25 and the answer would be 1.5 centimeter so if this is equal to 1.5 centimeter and the 4 centimeter one will also be multiplied with 0 0.25 and this will become 1 centimeter and the dimension which was 2 centimeter this will be multiplied with 0 0.25 every element will be multiplied with the same scale factor so this 2 centimeter will be equal to 0 0.5 centimeter therefore this diagram would have this 0 0.5 centimeter here 0 0.5 centimeter and this would be 1.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter and 1.5 centimeter and this would become 1 centimeter 1 centimeter and 1 centimeter so this is how the reductions 
work and we can take advantage of the scale factor and we can find out the other lengths. Every element, it is very important that you remember, every element is reduced by the same scale factor. So this is how we can reduce the given diagrams.